Back to you on Get Up, and we're talking Michigan and Jim Harbaugh. He agreed to a new five-year contract of the 2026 season. The new deal gives Harbaugh a one-year extension with new terms from his last contract that he signed in January. So we got to get into this, and let's bring in Heather Dinich and Paul Feinbaum with more because this is a huge story, you guys. Heather, I want to start with you. Just a few weeks ago, Harbaugh had one foot out the door. Now he's signed until 2026. How did this extension come about for Michigan? Well, sources have told ESPN that he was offered a solid contract deal in January that he obviously didn't immediately accept. And remember, Michigan is coming off the best season under Harbaugh, an appearance in the college football playoff, winning the Big Ten, beating Ohio State. It doesn't get any better than that for the Wolverines, aside from winning the national title. So clearly there was a, a lucrative offer on the table, but it wasn't about the money. It was about pursuing a chance to win a Super Bowl. And when it became clear that he didn't get the offer from the Vikings, they immediately flipped the page back to Michigan football. He had the conversation with his athletic director, Ward Manuel, and here they are. Okay, pursuing a chance to win a Super Bowl. I want to come back to that in a second. But, Paul, first I want to come to you. I know there's no love loss between you and Harbaugh. What do you make about him getting the extension? I think it's preposterous, Ryan, but it's also a necessity of college football. To stay ahead in recruiting, you have to keep extending coaches, and that's how programs get in so much fiscal trouble. But what sense does this make? Jim Harbaugh did not want to be there. We all know that. On National Signing Day two weeks ago, he got on a plane and went to Minnesota wanting that job for the reasons that we just heard. He wants to win a Super Bowl. He didn't get the job, so he, he crawls back to Michigan and, and Ward Manuel. The, the AD really has no option. He extends Harbaugh's contract by a year. This is not that dramatic. And I think the two sides are stuck with each other. This, this marriage is going nowhere. Uh, Michigan has a good team for next year, but, but the optics of this to me are really bad. Yeah, it's a tough thing. If I'm a Michigan fan, I'm thinking, how do I know he won't jump to the pros when he has another Super Bowl opportunity? And Heather, I look at Michigan. So he wasn't there on National Signing Day. He's got new offensive and defensive coordinators. How are we to believe that Michigan is right, is on a path to success with this extension? Well, two things. Let's be fair. Michigan's class was wrapped up before National Signing Day. The coaches had off. That was a done deal, and it was the number eight class in the country. We know what they say, which is Jim Harbaugh telling Ward Manuel, this will not be a recurring issue. It was a one-time deal. Whether or not he means that, only time will tell. But look, he hired Jesse Minter Vanderbilt from Vanderbilt as his defensive coordinator. He replaced essentially Josh Gaddis, his offensive coordinator, who went to Miami by hiring, well, not hiring, internally. He promoted Matt Weiss, the quarterback's coach, and also Sharon Moore, the offensive line, to play calling duties. So they are moving forward and turning the page. We'll see how long it lasts. Heather, I wish you could see the expression on Paul's face just shaking his head. Paul, what do you think? And do you think we see Michigan back in the playoff this year? Uh, the answer to the second part is no. But, but Ryan, you know, we're talking about trust here. We're, we're, what, three days removed from Valentine's Day? Can you imagine? Uh, I'm telling my wife on, on the night before Valentine's. I, I kind of have the itch to go out with the guys and, you know, maybe we'll meet a couple of uh, people at, 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 the, at the club. And she said, oh, don't worry about it. I, I trust you. I mean, that is absurd. That is absolutely absurd how Michigan can trust this guy for walking out on them. Whether recruiting was done or not, it doesn't matter. He he did not want to be there. And I think it, it also is interesting to note that it took Michigan two weeks to re-sign him. If they were that much in love with him, why didn't they give him the contract offer the next day? There's something very wrong in Ann Arbor. And I think we'll start to see the results of that this year when Ohio State once again rules the Big Ten. Okay, we will have to see how this all plays out. And they're stuck together. And for Jim Harbaugh, stuck together with a lot of money <laughs> in hand. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.